all-time economic low, gas prices have become so high that consumers have resorted to the unthinkable to obtain a few more gallons for their vehicles. Let's listen in on to what a few of them had to say in response to today's record high prices. Well, I sold his SUV and I got us a whole gallon of gasoline. What are we gonna drive now that we ain't got a car, Billy? So I've been doing some research and I found that hospitals will give you money if you give them blood. So every day for the past two weeks, I've been giving. And people said it would be a bad idea, but I, I just think... Yeah, this whole high gas price thing. We've been taking the money we normally use for my kids ADD medicine. We've been using it to keep gas in the vehicle. It's working out pretty well, I think. <laughs> Wow! Things sure are getting wacky! Well, that's all we have in news for today, so let's move right along to the segment of the show that's become everybody's favorite. A little thing we like to call, That's Entertainment! special treat for you today folks. If you've been following the news recently, you're already aware of the huge rivalry going on between some of our recent musical guests. Well after much deliberation, we were able to get both sides of this rivalry to come on our show today and explain the situation. Now everybody remembers our last guests, Mysterious and Luke's are. But I'd like to give a special thank you to the multi-platinum recording artist Lil Rosie for coming on our show for the first time. Don't mention it, Babs. I just thought it was time to set things straight. You know, clear the air. Plus, it sets a good example for the kids. Well, that's just wonderful, Lil Rosie. It's great to see somebody in your position. Hey, yo, boobs! Babs. I mean, Babs. You didn't mean Babs. Did you get the flowers that we sent you after our last appearance? Actually, I wasn't quite done speaking with Lil Rosie. Yeah, whatever. Did you get them? Yes. Did you read the card? Yes, Mysterious. Yo, you should read it on the air. You know why? Because we're sensitive too. Mm -hmm. Just like Lil Tulip over there. Actually, guys, I don't have it here in the studio. Now moving right along to the rivalry. Thanks, Be Becky. Actually, Bab, seems like it's your lucky day. Looks like we got the card right here. Yo, come on, read it. We put a lot of thought into it. We even had it spell checked. Fine. Fine. Yo, we're sorry. Love your baby daddies. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Sorry to interject on your little precious moment, but I'm a little strapped for time. Of course, of course. Lil Rosie, can you tell us how this whole rivalry started? Well, I know you heard of my number one hit song, It's Getting Hot Tonight. And after being at number one for eight straight weeks, these bozos came out with the same exact song. And check this. All they do to change it is add one word. One lousy word and they call it their own song. What happened next? Their version goes to number one and kicks mine right out of the top spot. Yeah, that's right, we number one, numero uno. Who knows, Luke Star? It's who knows. Still don't know numbers. Well, you know what? We can't take all the credit. We would like to introduce you to someone very special. <laughs> that's right, Babs. I know we had a lot of fun. It's been a great couple weeks, but there's somebody new in my life. And I'd like to introduce you to my new boo, my main squeeze, and our new manager, Meredith! <laughs> <laughs> Come on in here, baby. Sit on my lap. That's cool, too. I'd like to make this clear from the beginning that I am only their manager. There is no possibility of client-manager relations. Oh! And also, Babs, no 
feel rosy. I advise my clients not to do that song, just for the record. Let's just cut to the chase. These fools stole my song. They ain't real rappers, they don't know what thug life's about. Little white boys make me sick. He does have a point, guys. If you listen to both tracks, they do sound almost identical. Man, this is whack. They don't sound nothing like each other. I mean, his stupid song goes, It's getting hot tonight. It's getting hot tonight. What, what? And our song goes, It's getting so hot tonight. It's getting so hot tonight. What, what? What? You want to talk about getting real? Well, let's talk about what's really on your minds. This ain't about no song stealing issue. This is straight up all about East Coast, West Coast street cred. What kind of cred you got? Do you really want to have this conversation with me? Do you know who I am? Do they really need to see the bullet holes in my chest? Hmm? Man, straight up, Luke's out here skint his knee yesterday, and guess where it happened? On the street. Rollerblades are dangerous. And where'd you get shot, little Rosie? Hmm? Man, everyone knows I got shot up in the club. Oh, the club, really? See, cause I thought we were talking about free cred. My club cred, what, you stupid or something? <laughs> Did he just call me stupid? I think he called me stupid. Boy, I will prick you. I will straight up prick you. Hey, hey, you think you bad? Who's bad? Who's bad? Luke's are. Show me your nine. Baby, you better step back, cause this is gonna get dangerous. Everyone calm down. Let's not get too wacky, guys. Just brush your shoulders off, players. I know numbers now. There's gotta be some way to settle this rivalry. I assure you, the record label is already looking into this situation. These clowns are making straight up bank off my song, my lyrics, my beats. Man, that's my money. Actually, we had Luxar's Uncle Larry who does part-time accounting to do the logistics. He says we owe you like 1% of our profits. We're talking about pennies here. The man's crying about pennies. <laughs> what? You want your pennies, little man? Luxar, give the man a penny. Boom! Mr. Jefferson, there you go. He was irritating my pocket anyway. You guys think you can just do whatever you want? You think you can steal my song? Well, let me tell you what I'm gonna do. Yo, cornbread. What? First, I'm gonna... And then I'm gonna... And then... I'm gonna sit down in Starbucks and have a nice mocha cappuccino. And then... You better get on your knees and pray to whoever you pray to. But I don't find the guy that invented your precious little dipping dots and shoot him in the face. You don't mean that? Yeah, he doesn't mean that. I think he means it. I know we haven't quite resolved anything here, but we have run out of time. But uh, maybe we could have all of you back on the show to do a follow-up on this story. Yeah, this definitely isn't over. Don't think I won't be able to find you. You live in Beverly Hills, right? No. Yes. No. You better watch your back, boys. Cause someone's gonna get pricked. Thanks to all our guests for being here today with us, so join us next week for our next installment of That's Entertainment!